for the standard form of a quadratic equation which is ax raised to 2 plus bx plus c is equal to 0 and where a must not be equal to 0 formula which is x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b raised to 2 minus 4ac all over 2a and that is our quadratic formula so for now we will use now quadratic formula in solving the roots of a quadratic equation or the solution of a quadratic equation or the values of x that will satisfy the equation so here is the standard form of quadratic equation we have ax raised to 2 plus bx plus c is equal to 0 which is this is the standard form now our aim is to solve for the roots of a quadratic equation using a, using a quadratic formula. And what is that quadratic formula? That quadratic formula is this one. Okay, it is x is equal to negative b plus minus the square root of b raised to 2 minus 4ac. All over, nandito po yan, all over 2a. Yan po yung quadratic formula natin. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin para masolve natin yung roots or solution of our equation. Suppose we have our equation which is 2x raised to 2 minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0. Okay? So as you can see, in our standard form, this is a, this is b, and this is c. Meaning here, this is our a, this is our b, and this is our c. Meaning, we first determine the values of a, b, and c for us to know what constant or what numbers we will use to substitute in our formula or to replace in our formula. Okay? So a, we did a, b, c. Okay, so what is our a? We have this one, the first leading coefficient, which is positive 2. Next, what is our b? It is the second term, okay? The coefficient of second term we have negative 5. Okay, next, third term we have, okay, positive 2. Okay, so A, B, C, which is 2, negative 5, and 2. Now, let us now try to substitute or to replace these values in our formula. Suppose we have, okay, X is equal to negative, what is our B? What is our B we have? It is negative 5. So it is negative 5. Or plus minus the square root. The square root of. Okay. Tignan po natin. B raised to 2 minus 4 AC. Meaning B which is negative 5 raised to the power of 2 minus 4 A. What is our A? Which is we have positive 2. And then our C we have positive 2 all over all over 2a okay what is our a we have this one 2 so meaning 2 times 2 so just substitute and then okay next 24 hours later now simplify okay negative times negative 5 it is positive 5 okay plus minus plus minus can you see? The square root of negative 5 raised to the power of 2. The answer is negative 5 times negative 5, it is 25. Okay, so 25. Minus 4 times 2 times 2. 4 times 2, it is 8. Times 2, it is 16. Okay, over the denominator, which is 2a. 2 times 2, it is 4. Okay? Simplify further. Ipatapos yan. A few moments later. That is why. Okay. So 5. 5 plus minus is 9. All over 4. Okay. Next. Simplify further. 5 plus minus, what is the square root of 9? 3. Okay. All over the number which is 
4. Okay. So x, x is equal to 5 plus minus 3 all over 4. Now we separate the addition and subtraction. x is equal to 5. Pulling muna natin sa addition, which is plus. Plus 3 all over 4. Next, x is equal to 5. Pulling muna mag si negative value or yung subtraction. Minus 3 all over 4. They are the same, right? But the subtract. Operation is in this part, it is addition. In this part, it is subtraction. As I kanina sa formula natin, it is 5 plus minus. Meaning plus minus, there are two values. That is why we separated it to see plus, it to see minus. 2, 5 plus 3 is 8 all over 4. Simplify. 8 all over 4, 8 divided by 4, it is, it is 2. So x sub 1. Okay, or the what the, uh, the first value of x is 2. Next, the second value, x is equal to 5 minus 3, it is 2. All over the denominator, which is 4. 2 divided by 4, 1. All over 4 divided by 2, it is 2. So x is equal to 1 half. Or x sub 2 is equal to 1 half. X sub 1 is equal to 2. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe.